Good morning, kids. This is Grace. Welcome back to Daily Devotion Time. I'm so glad you're here with me and hope that you're enjoying this special time meeting with God and finding His grace. Do you have your devotion book and Bible ready? If you don't, you can go and get them first. And let's start with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this new day and this time with you. Please be here with us and shine your light into our hearts and open our eyes so we can see what's so amazing about your grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now let's open your devotion book, page 20, to day 8, and your Bible, Ephesians 2, 8-9. And if you find a verse in the Bible, you can highlight it first. Let's read it together from your devotion book first. For you are saved by grace through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift. Not from works so that no one can boast. Ephesians 2, 8-9. Amen. Now, let's read it again from your Bible. And think about the meaning of the passage. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Ephesians 2, 8-9. Amen. The title for today's devotion is God's Gift. Do you like to get gifts? And what was the most important gift you ever had? I like to get gifts too. And one of the most important gifts for me was from my mother. When I was about 8 years old, my mother picked up a bunch of white flowers and brought to me at home. She was visiting one of her ancestors' grave and she picked them up because she knew how much I liked the white flowers. Through these gifts, I knew how much my mother loved me, and knowing her love makes me happy and gives me strength. Do you know God loves you so much and He'd like to give you gifts too? Today's passage is about God's gift of salvation. To understand God's gift of salvation, there are three words we need to uh, understand more. First, grace, faith, and being saved. Being saved means accepting Jesus as Christ. And believing means, having faith means believing and accepting what the Bible says about Jesus. Especially the God's prayer summed up in John 3.16, the main passage from yesterday. For God's so loved the world this way. He gave His one and only Son so that whomever believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. Amen. Now, what is grace then? Grace means undeserved favor or law given to people by God. Grace describes God's forgiving and transforming love. Over the history, there has, have been many people who are transformed by God's grace. John Newton, who wrote the famous Amazing Grace, was one of them. He was a slave trader, but transformed and became a pastor, and he played a major role in slavery abolition in England. He wrote this song out of his own testimony. And this song touched many people's lives and still touching many people's lives. John Newton was under severe guilty feeling after he became a Christian until he met this God's grace. He discovered that God never stopped loving him even when he was doing terrible things to destroy many people's lives as a slave trader. God just wanted him to repent and receive his forgiveness. 
So he realized that God hates sin, but he loved the sinners. And so he described himself that he was the greatest sinner, but the but Christ was the greatest savior. God's grace is still transforming many lives. That includes mine and yours if we accept His gift of grace. We are living in a life that is not free from mistakes, and we are making mistakes again and again each day. But the good news is, God still loves us and forgives if we ask Him. God loves us not because who we are or what we have done, but Yes, God loves us because who He is and what He has done. He made us and He loves us. His love is not performance-based, but He said He is looking at us and saying, "I love you, and I will never stop loving you. Remain in my love." What an amazing grace! And. This grace is not just forgives, but it changes, transforms, and revives whoever enters into this loving relationship with Jesus. So let's accept this God's grace and give thanks to Him today. Now I will finish with prayer, but you can use the link I am giving you and watch the movie. Of John Newton, and think about what amazing grace God has been given to us. Let's pray. Dear Father, we are sinners and we not deserve to have your love, but you still love us as we are sinners. Thank you for this amazing grace, and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being with us, and see you next time. Bye.